For science, I was asked the question, why do we have seatbelts? In this video, I'll explain why, as well as show a demo of with and without a seatbelt with my helping friend here, Bob. Bob is a Lego from Legoville, and today he'll be driving his car into a wall to demonstrate why we have seatbelts. Now this is Bob in his car, prepared to smash into a wall for the name of science, of course, without a seatbelt. Wow, that must have hurt. Now let's see some more videos of Bob smashing into the wall without a seatbelt. Oof, now that's gotta hurt. Now let's see Bob with his seatbelt on. Now this is Bob with his seatbelt on. Prepared to smash into a wall. As we slow down the clip of Bob smashing into the wall without the seatbelt, we can clearly see what happens. As the fast moving car hits the wall, the wall absorbs the impact, making the car stop dead in its tracks. And yet, while the car stops, Bob continues to keep going. This is because Bob has inertia from moving, and so he continues to move forward while the car stops. This eventually leads to Bob's demise and he flies away from the car. On the other hand, when Bob has the seatbelt, the car still stops. But Bob also stops with the car. This is because Bob has a very little inertia because the seatbelt attaches him to the car. This means that when the car stops, Bob will also stop. Overall, the reason why we have seatbelts is to prevent inertia from launching us from the car when it breaks too hard. This is to protect us, and as we see what happened to Bob, save us from dying. So remember kids, wear your seatbelts.